Welcome back everyone. In this video, let's take a look at the second sorting algorithm, which is insertion sort. The problem statement remains the same. Given an array of integers, sort the array. Sorting can either be ascending or descending. For example, if we have an array of five integers, Passing the array into insertion sort function should return the same array in ascending order. Let's first understand the idea behind insertion sort. With insertion sort, you virtually split the array into a sorted and an unsorted part. Since one item by definition is always sorted, we assume that the first element is sorted and remaining elements are unsorted. You then select an unsorted element and compare with all the elements in the sorted part. If the elements in the sorted part is smaller than the selected element, proceed to the next element in the unsorted part. Else, shift larger elements in the sorted part towards the right. You then insert the selected element at the right index, ensuring the sorted part remains that way. Finally, Repeat the above steps for all the unsorted elements in the array. Of course, these points might be difficult to understand, so let me help you visualize with an example. Consider the array from our example, minus six, 20, eight, minus two, and four. I've omitted the comma as it gets a bit too crowded. Here is how insertion sort works. You begin by assuming the first element in the array is already sorted. Remaining four elements are unsorted. You start at index one, which is the first unsorted element. Let's store it in a variable called number to insert or NTI for short. You compare it with the sorted elements on its left to see if it is out of order. We have one sorted element, which is minus six. Let's represent that as SE, sorted element for short. We check if the sorted element is greater than the number to insert. Is minus six greater than 20? The answer is no. In that case, place 20 to the right of minus six. Of course, there is no change in our scenario as 20 is already to the right of minus six. Minus six and 20 now form the sorted part of the array. Next, we pick eight, which is from the unsorted part of the array. Let's store eight as number to insert. We compare it with the sorted elements. First, we start at 20. Is 20 greater than eight? Yes, it is. So shift 20 one position to the right. We now have 20 twice, but that is okay as eight is stored in a variable called number to insert and we haven't lost track of it. After 20, the next sorted element is minus six. Is minus six greater than eight? No. So place eight, which is the number to insert one position to the right of minus six. Our sorted part of the array is now minus six, eight, and 20. The next unsorted element is minus two. Compare it with sorted part and shift the sorted elements as necessary. Is 20 greater than minus two? Yes, so shift to the right. Next is eight greater than minus two. Yes, so shift to the right. Next, is minus six greater than minus two? No, so place minus two to the right of minus six. Our sorted part is now minus six, minus two, eight, and 20. Finally, the unsorted element is four. Compare again with the sorted part which lies to the left. Is 20 greater than four? Yes, so shift 20 to the right. Next is eight greater than four. Yes, so shift to the right. 
Next is minus 2 greater than 4. No, so place 4 to the right of minus 2. Our sorted array is now minus 6, minus 2, 4, 8 and 20. We have reached the end of the array, which means the entire array is now sorted. This is how the insertion sort algorithm works. Alright, if you have understood the algorithm, now is the time to pause and implement the solution. If you would like to solve together, let's do so in the next video.